let's talk about multi-factor authentication. So this is a brand new feature that we are launching. And I'm really excited to have Zena Roca present this, um, who leads developer experience on our team. So we'll do a little switcheroo and welcome Zeno. Thank you, Michael. I'm super excited to talk about uh, multi-factor authentication or MFA for short. Uh, this is a feature that we have been working um, for the last, uh, I don't know, couple of weeks. Uh, and it, we're like super, super excited. And I think it's gonna unlock a lot of uh, benefits to you and your customers. So what is MFA, right? Uh, MFA is basically in, a, in broad terms is a combination of different things. Something that you know, and this is your regular email, your password as you're signing in, uh, that's the information that you, uh, that you have, uh, that, that you know, and also something that you have. So this could be many different, in many different forms, like your fingerprint. So in your computer, you just use your touch ID and then uh, you can confirm that you are who you say you are, uh, or you can use your phone and you can get an SMS, or you can use TOTP that we're gonna uh, talk in a little bit, or even a, a hardware device like a YubiKey where you can um, also prove your identity. And once you have those two things combined, then you can have access to a system. So that's MFA uh, in, in, in broad terms. And how do we, we see this manifested in, in different apps? So, You've probably seen this in many different places, in different forms with different factors. Uh, iCloud is a good example. You, you sign into your Apple account and then they use your, your other devices, your computer. If you're on your phone, you can uh, get that information from your computer. Uh, same with GitHub. You can use a YubiKey or you can use uh, some authenticator app like 1Password or the Google Authenticator. And this is a pretty common flow and probably one of the most required features from IT admins to ensure that users are gonna have a, uh, a strong security presence uh, on their system. So we built an MFA API and we tried to approach this from a very composable and opinionated way. So instead of uh, being attached to a specific IDP instead of being uh, really opinionated in terms of like how you should uh, manage backup codes and, and that kind of thing. We decided to be really un unopinionated and also make it in a way that you can plug this into any existing app, plug this into any um, session management uh, strategy that you're using instead of being attached to, to something else. So this is the integration flow that you're gonna go over with. There are basically three different steps. Uh, you're first gonna create your authentication factor, then you're gonna challenge it, and finally, you're gonna verify that that challenge uh, really uh, is what you're uh, trying to verify. Now, there are two different strategies that you can take uh, with this MFA API. We're definitely going to expand the number of factors that we're going to support in the future, but this is what we're starting with. You can choose between SMS or you can choose between a time-based one-time password uh, or TOTP. Now, let's look at the code and see how this works in practice. So let's say I want to enroll a user using the SMS factor. So I can just make a request to the work OS endpoint. I can send what is the type, what is the phone number. And in return, uh, the response that I get is this authentication factor ID that I can reuse this later. So keep this in mind. This is gonna be important information uh, for, the, for the next step. So here's what the UI, UI looks like. Okay, let's say I'm building this app and I want to start supporting SMS. This is how, uh, what you typically do. So you have a field for adding the, your phone number, um, some form submission to uh, trigger the, the SMS. And then after that, you're gonna add the one-time uh, passcode. Okay, but what about TOTP? I say I'm using Google Authenticator or 1Password. How does that look like? So this is the API. Same contract, we're just changing the type from SMS to TOTP. And I also need to pass some more information like the, 
the company who's issuing that, the, the organization uh, name or the user uh, as well. And what I get in return from this API is the QR code that you can use to display in your app and also the URI that you can add to your Authenticator app. So let's see how this would look in, a, in an app. So this is what you typically display, your QR code, the passcode, and, and that's it. That's the first step. Uh, now that we have created an authentication factor, we can move to the next one, which is challenging that factor. So how does that look like for the SMS? That's basically it, right? Like for the UI, you're adding that one-time one passcode and then you're registering that device. So let's take a look at the code now. The interesting thing about the SMS is that you can also change that template. So we give you that option to change the message to whatever you want. And we're gonna reuse that same authenticator factor ID uh, from the previous step uh, to make sure that uh, we're challenging the right one. Same for TOTP. So now we can add that passcode to our app and same API, uh, we're just sending that authentication factor in. In this case, there's no template, uh, but same API, same endpoint uh, and all that. And now we move to the last step. So we have created the authentication factor. We challenged it and I configured my account as a user. What happens next? Now that I log out and a week later, I'm logging into this app. How does it work to verify that that user really is who they're saying they, they are? So we can verify that using the Authenticator app, for example, and this is the API that we would call. So, the idea here, regardless of using TOTP or SMS, is that you can call this API with the code that the user uh, added, and then we can use the authenticator authentication challenge IG that we saved previously on our database to make sure that this user is who they say they are. To show all of you this and to uh, go more into detail, uh, I'm going to hand it over to Rob, who's going to demonstrate that for us. Hi, this is Rob. I'm an engineer here at WorkOS. Today I'll be demonstrating the capabilities of our new MFA API by showing you an example application with MFA capabilities that are powered by the new API. The example we'll see today can be built using only three MFA API endpoints. The API is designed to be unopinionated and composable, and it should be compatible with existing authentication strategies found in your own applications today. Our example application is called Hire OS, and we'll start off by signing in with a user who has not yet configured MFA. As we can see, there's two available additional factors of authentication that have not yet been configured. One is the Authenticator app, which leverages time-based one-time passwords, or TOTP for short. The other is SMS. Let's click Configure on the SMS factor. First, we'll need to provide a phone number to send the text message to, and then I'll click send one-time passcode to enroll the phone number. Once I receive the message on my SMS-enabled device, I can type in the code provided. Now I'll click register, and now it's configured. So let's log out and see how that impacts the login flow. Sign in with the same email and password as we did before. And then now we'll get another text message with another one-time passcode, which I'll type in now. I'll click verify, and now we're logged in again. But what if I wanted to use an additional factor of authentication that's a little more modern and secure than SMS? Let's click, conf click configure on the Authenticator app. We see a QR code, which most Authenticator apps support scanning. The app that I'm gonna be using today is 1Password, but you can use any Authenticator app that supports time-based one-time passcodes. So I'll go ahead and scan the QR code and then type in the code generated by the Authenticator app. And I'll click register. And now we have both enabled. So let's log out one more time to see how that impacts the login flow. So one more time, sign in with the same email and password. And now it's asking us to input the code generated from our Authenticator app. 
And because we have SMS configured as well, the app gives us an option to switch to that authentication tracker instead. But I want to use the Authenticator app. So I'll go ahead and type in the code generated by 1Password. And then I'll click Verify. And now we're logged in. And that's it. We have an example that is MFA enabled, leveraging only three WorkOS endpoints. The MFA API is currently in a preview stage and is available today. Just let the WorkOS team know and we can get you set up with the new MFA API. Thanks. All right, thanks so much for that demo. And thank you, Zeno, for running us through that. So that's the new MFA API. We're super excited to roll this out. Uh, again, to reiterate, it's very composable. So the MFA API can be added to any existing authentication system you have. If you already have username and password auth and you just want to add MFA to it, it's really easy to do that way. It's also unopinionated in the sense that it doesn't force you into any one strategy or another. It's very flexible. And uh, in particular, you can build your own UI around this. And so the UIs that we showed in that demo are, are things that you know we, have, we created quite quickly in the demo apps. You can go see that code. But if you want to style it slightly different, if you want to have it match your login experience, your brand, you can totally do that. It, you're, you have full control. It's not kind of locked within um, a UI that we're forcing you to use. So it's very unopinionated, composable, and also just really fast to integrate. You saw how simple the API endpoints are. Um, you know, we, we hide a lot of complexity behind that so you don't have to think about it and just give you a nice surface area to build, to build against. We've had this out in a preview state with a few customers for a bit and um, have had some pretty great success for it. This is Praneet that said, leveraging WorkOS, we're able to build MFA via TOTP in a record week's time and are ready to engage with the customer, which is a big win for them, big win for us. So thanks Praneet for being an early early user, helping us kick the tires on this. Today, MFA, this is available. Um, so please just let us know if you want us to turn on your account. We have it in a preview state, but it's in production, it's ready to go. Um, and we'll be you know, opening it up to everyone um, uh, very soon. But if you're interested in using this, please just uh, shoot us a note in Slack or over email and we'll turn it on for your account.